We are extracting and consuming the world's energy reserves at a bafflingly alarming rate. This was illustrated quite explicitly in a recent podcast I listened to with Aubrey Marcus and Nate Higgins, which I'll link to in the description. What kept coming to my mind while listening, however, was not necessarily the icy grips of fear for the future we are facing when the devil seeks his dues, but the congruity of this predicament with so many similar themes in the world today. We are being directed to face, on a collective level, the error in our extractive, subjugating ways. We are being asked to realize that feeling entitled to take, to dominate, to control, to pillage, without thought of others or the earth, is inherently wrong. But also, it's not the only way. As Ukraine fights for its autonomy, as Iranian women fight for their freedom, as indigenous people the world over shout for recognition of their honorable stewardship, as the oppressed everywhere demand attention and retribution for crimes committed against them, as the Earth's atmosphere begins to take retribution for our overconsumption, as millennials start rebelling against inhumane authoritative industrial revolution era working conditions, we are awakening in this dawn of the Aquarian age to the reality that it doesn't need to be this way. Just because it's the only way we as a collective have known doesn't mean it is the only way. Like any healthy partnership realizes, one doesn't have to control and subjugate the other to get their needs met. Rather, mutual respect and reciprocation is the ticket to harmony and equity. And, as I would venture to guess anyone tuning into this channel agrees with, we are not alone in this universe. We have a spiritual team, and we are not the only entities inhabiting this plane. There are intelligent entities on all planes and dimensions, who are here to help. Once we can acknowledge and atone for the misdeeds of our species, healing can begin and a new era of collaboration and cooperation can emerge. I am convinced that there are ample resources available to us to provide our transportation, material, and energy needs, but that we'd have to work in tandem with the other realms to access. As I've said so many times, Magic is ready to be reborn. We just need the humility and purity of heart to seek it out and seek to give back in equal measure to what we take in the ways asked of us. What do you think the future of energy looks like? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thanks and have a blessed day.